Hi everyone, this is Pablo again, and continuing with video two in the video series, uh, The Current Overweight and Obesity Problem. So we have to agree on one thing, I think we all will, and that's that uh, what we've been doing for the last 40 years does not work. So we need to open our minds into other approaches to our eating habits and why all of this feeds into our problem right now across this country which is that uh, if you look at this we have 325 million people in the US that's all the green and if you look at the people who are overweight that's two in three that's 165 million Americans that are overweight and if you then look at the number that are obese that's one in three and that's 82 million people. So if you combine those two, 165 and 82 million, you get the idea uh, or you get the message really that we've got a severe problem in this country with with uh, overweight uh, and obesity. Um, so this is what we see every day when we go outdoors. If you stop and look around and actually look around you, you can see it. We have a serious problem in the country. Obesity can lead to heart disease and stroke high blood pressure, diabetes, some cancers, gallbladder disease and gallstones, osteoarthritis, gout, and breathing problems and sleep problems such as sleep apnea where you stop breathing, and asthma as well. So now let's talk about the BMI or body mass index which is simply a measure of your body fat but it's based on your weight versus your height. Uh, it's not the most accurate. There's other ways that you can do so, but this is a kind of a starting point. It's pretty close from what I've seen. Um, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention provide a BMI calculator. There's be a link in the video notes. Uh, the calculation uh, to figure out what your BMI is is you take your weight in pounds, divide it by your height in inches, divide that result by your height in inches again, and then multiply it by 703. And then that's going to give you a number that you'll see down here in the bottom. And uh, basically, if you're between 25 and 29.9, you're overweight. If you're above that, you're obese. And if you're over 40, you're morbidly obese. So it's kind of uh, eye-opening when you do this the first time. Um, and uh, this is part of the way you can kind of calculate where you stand. This is a table for adult BMIs. And you can figure out your height over on the left, followed by your weight, you follow the line up to whatever your weight is and then you run it all up to the top and that tells you what your BMI is. So how, what happened? Um, how did we get to this point where we have this ridiculously bad ha uh, problem across the country? Well if you're over 40 you can remember when things weren't like this. I know uh, I'm 51 and I know that when I was a kid um, it wasn't this bad. And even a teenager, it wasn't this bad back in the 80s. Um, now it seems that everywhere we look, we see not just overweight people, but many obese people. You might even know of someone who's morbidly obese. And I know cer certainly know some as well. Uh, so how did things get this bad? So in order to learn how we got to this point, how we got let things get this bad, we're going to go ahead and cover video three. Where we did, uh, where where did we get the idea that dietary fat, that's fat that you eat, was bad, but that breads, pasta, rice, and flour were good? There's a reason why we've been told to eat this way for the last 40 years, and that's what we're going to cover in video three. So, uh, if you like this video and want to continue watching this series, go ahead and subscribe, click the little bell icon to be notified, and I'll see you in video three.